This video is brought to you by my monthly channel subscribers. If you'd like to help support the channel through Substack or Patreon, check out the links in the description below. Here we go with a B-movie exclusive, and this one is one of the most absolutely outrageously fun and insane B-noir films of the classic era. It's 1946's Decoy. Directed by Jack Bernhardt and starring his wife, Jean Gilly, Edward Norris, Robert Armstrong, and Sheldon Leonard. This one is a monogram picture straight from Poverty Row, and it has everything, and I mean everything. A missing $400,000, a death row inmate, a mysterious drug with some mind-blowing properties, and a dame so cold she could ice over a summer night. There are going to be some spoilers, so if you haven't seen Decoy, I absolutely recommend you watching it. The link is in the description below. Decoy introduces us to Margot Shelby. In the midst of the swirling madness of the plot, Margot is the ice cold center of this story. A lot of viewers are fans of Margot Shelby and think that she is, without a doubt, one of the top ladies of film noir, up there with Phyllis Dietrichson, Bridget Gregory, Kathy Moffat, and Maddie Walker. And just like all of those lovely ladies, Margot is driven by the love of money. I wanted money. Frankie Olin's had it. Four hundred thousand dollars. In this case, it's the four hundred thousand dollars that her lover convicted death row inmate Frankie Owens has stashed away somewhere, the spoils of a robbery that left one man dead. That's all that money means to me. You clothes for your pretty things for you. That's why I did it. That's why I took the chance, even on a murder rap. Even with mounting legal fees and a date with the death chamber approaching, Frankie refuses to give up the location of the dough. The secret of where that money is doesn't walk out of here unless I walk out with it. So Margot, with the help of her new lover, who also happens to be an associate of Frankie's. Have you been seeing Jim Vincent? No, Frankie boy. Of course not. She concocts an insane plan to free him from prison and to get her hands on that money. They'll execute him with something they call hydrocyanic gas. And the antidote for that is methylene blue. The plan involves one, a drug called methylene blue. Two, a series of double and triple crosses. And three, murder. That's simple arithmetic, two. So Margot gets her hands on this methylene blue and she gets her hands on the prison doctor. Simple arithmetic it was. Margot Shelby is a woman of cunning intelligence, seductive charm, and an unyielding determination to employ any means necessary to get what she wants. She is undeniably alluring and captivating to those around her and the audience. She strategically exploits all her relationships with all the men in this movie. You've got to think about me, too. Why don't you tell me where the money is? To get money, information, and resources. People who use pretty faces like you use yours don't live very long anyway. She's ruthless, and I love that with the help of her English accent. Darling, what's the matter? So unhappy. Oh, that. Don't think about it now. That accent helps to mislead you into thinking there's a softness there, some vulnerability or emotional complexity beyond just greed, and even some humanity. But I am so happy to report she has none of that. She is maniacally driven by one thing, and anything that gets in her way, be damned. She is truly one of the most amoral ladies in film noir. Margot will, of course, get her comeuppance. She has to. But she goes out in an unrepentant blaze of glory. So, yes, Decoy has a lot of odd tonal choices going on, and at times the film does seem disjointed. And Jean Gilly, whose career was rather brief and who died tragically of pneumonia just a couple of years after this film was released, has immortalized herself in film history with this performance. They honestly just don't make them like this anymore. <laughs> Simple arithmetic. There are 8 million stories in the cinema cities. This has been one. <laughs>